Hey, Wonder Friends, are you ready to learn how to draw big from my Big and Bunny series? Here we go. Big is besties with this little purple buddy, Bunny. I named him Big, well, because he's big, and I colored him blue, well, because blue's my favorite color. I really like Big because he's always trying to help out Bunny. He's always helping out Bunny by being silly, he's serious, he's helpful, and he's kind. Do you have any friends like that? Blue is really simple to draw, and I'm going to show you how to draw your very own Big. All you need to draw Big is some paper, something to draw with, and it's willingness to try. If you need to pause the video to go grab your besties, I get it. Besties are awesome. I'll wait right here. If not, let's get to drawing. Okay, guys, what we're going to do is we are going to first wake up our brains. And we do that here in Wonder Friends through a thing we call the Mindful Minute. And how that we do that, it's super easy. I need you to sit up big and tall, wiggle your toes, be here now, take a deep breath. And you can say this out loud or to yourself. I am me. I matter. I try my best. I am super fantastic. Yes. That was awesome. And you really are super fantastic. So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw big. This guy right here. This big blue bear. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with our paper up and down. All right now big. And we're going to draw his kind of little bit from his uh, shoulders, um, maybe like his chest, if you were to think of him as a person, from his chest up, we're gonna draw. And when you start with your page up and down, just like that, we're gonna start kind of just a little bit more towards the top of your page. Now just remember guys, if you don't draw like me, that's perfectly fine. Uh, if you need to pause the video, that's fine too. Just take your time, and we're just gonna take our time and draw this, it's gonna be fun. All right, so we're gonna start up here. We're gonna make an oval the very top of your page, just like that. It's like a squish zero, you squish it down a little bit. On each side of that oval, you're just gonna put two smaller circles. Now I like to draw with these big old Sharpies. You can draw with anything. If you only have a pencil, that's fine to draw with too. And right in the middle of this, let's pretend there was an imaginary line here. You don't have to draw, but just pretend. You're going to put a circle just like that and you're gonna fill it in because his nose is black, so. You can fill it in. If you don't get the perfect circle, if you don't really like what it looks like, you can always take your black marker and make it just a little bit bigger, however it works best for you. And above each one of those, or sorry, above each, not above each, above the nose, there are two little circles for eyes. And those are gonna go one right here, and another one right here, okay? Now for his eyebrows, let's pretend if we had a zero and we broke it in half, and we put one above each eye. Just like that. And then the number 11 goes right between those two. And between each one of these circles, you're just going to put two little dots to show that he's looking at us, right? Now, one of the things about Big is he's had this really big smile uh, that he loves to show off to Bunny. So we're going to make a big smile across his face. And all that is, guys, it's just a half circle, okay? You're going to start on one side and you're going to go all the way around just like that. And then another one comes underneath there, just like that. So it kind of looks like a banana, if you think about it. And you're just going to draw some up and down lines over through there. And put a line right between it, and that's how you get the teeth. Now, each one of those things is a great way to kind of make it, the smile show really big, is if we put those little lines like that on there, that's a great way to do it. Now, when you look at this, guys, I really want to point out something to you to show you that how your drawing is going to look different and how that's okay. If you look, my drawing isn't exactly the same as what's on this book, and that's fine. I'm drawing with the marker. I use a computer to do these final ones, so it makes it a lot easier to make sure it looks exactly the way I want. So sometimes when we're just drawing things, it doesn't look identical to the thing that you're looking at, and that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do for our shoulders, this is very simple. So his shoulders are kind of wide. If you look, they go almost all the way to the edge of his page, or of, of his face. So we're just gonna draw right down to here. Just two little lines that go down, just like that. And then he has uh, his arms, you can't really see it in this picture, but his arms are just a little bit in from that. And we're just gonna draw, just draw like little lines like that down, that's it, right? And then we're just gonna put a little 
bump like that because he has a different color on his chest. And now you can do the same thing up here and give yourself like a little line here to kind of go with. If you look here, he has two different colors on his face, right? And we're going to do that just to kind of show that he has a big, you know, space there and all that stuff like that. Now this guy's name is big and if you'd like you can write that right here. B I G and what we're going to do is we're going to color this guy in. We're going to color him. He's very simple. If you see these just two different blues, right? Uh, and if you don't have a blue marker, um, you can use a blue colored pencil as well. You have different things that you can choose from. But we're going to just, I'm going to use a marker to start. I'm going to use little colored pencils to add a little bit of extra to it uh, and then just color it. But we're going to fast forward a little bit so that way you don't have to sit and watch me color. But we're going to begin to fast forward right about now. Okay, guys. And as you start to wrap up your drawing, you can add in all these little details that you want on here. Uh, you can use your fine point markers if you want, which adds little details. It'll fill in like if you have, if you feel like that you want to clean up some things. One thing that I want to just kind of point out to you guys is just the importance of not getting really caught up in it being perfect. Um, some of the things, if you notice when I was coloring, some of it may be kind of hard to see. I, didn't, I missed the line. I went outside the line a little bit, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes it happens. Um, it adds to the character of it a little bit. It shows that it's not perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. So I really want you guys just to embrace the fact that sometimes you just mess up. Things just don't go perfect. Sometimes you color outside the lines. That's okay. Sometimes the coolest stuff happens when you color outside the lines. So one last big thing. Make sure that you sign this so everybody knows who made this awesome piece of art. I hope you had a blast drawing with me because I sure did drawing with you. Don't forget, you don't need to compromise on a dream, but you may need to compromise on how it comes true. Magic comes in all shapes and sizes. Until I see you next time, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya! Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com, for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!